Yo, what's up, Turner? It's your boy, B, and we're back with another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about um, Demon Fall and the return of it. It might be returning, it might not. Like, who knows? But uh, for those who don't know what Demon Fall is, it's a Demon Slayer game that is made on Roblox. And, you know, they were the first Demon Slayer game to, uh, like, actually do it right. Like, everybody, there was, like, a line of people that was hype about it. This is why the game averages 2,000 to 3,000 players even till this day, and it hasn't been updated within two years. But there's rumors going around that it will be getting a revamp, and if this game gets a revamp, it might break It might break Roblox, respectfully, of course. But, hey, let's get straight into it, and let's show you exactly what I'm working with. I currently have one of the best abilities in the game, one of the abilities that you need to prestige a lot for, and that is you know, Sun Breathing, obviously, Kamado. Um, but this is my alt account, obviously. I also have Moon Breathing. They didn't have slots, so at the time I was going try hard. I had prestige 10 Komodo, and then I had a prestige um, 10 Kanroji Moon Breathing Hybrid, whatever you want to call it. So let's get straight into it. So this is what I'm running currently. As you can see, I have all the moves unlocked, and I even have the one that's given to you with Komodo. So within this game, every clan has like a, a special skill that the clan unlocks. So with the Komodo, you unlock this one right here. And within this game, your sword lights up, right? So your sword lights up, lights up and this is the Commodore Blade. So the Commodore Blade is like one of the, you know, strongest blades in the game. It gives you the most amount of, like, um, damage. It maximizes your damage for you. And, yeah, you can't... The, the one thing I did have with this game, you cannot see NPCs' health unless you have see-through world, which is okay, you know what I'm saying? Which is okay. You know, it really added the pressure. You never, like... Because when you think an NPC is dead, it's not... You know, and then you'd let your guard down and you end up losing the fight. So it really made you stay on your feet. It made you not, like, you never be relaxing. Right now, I'm relaxing in this area, bro. I have sun breathing. I max prestige. Bro, there's nothing in this in, in this vicinity that can kill me. There's no regular demon that can kill me. Unless a player demon tries to test me. But all the try-hard demons are not even on the game anymore like they used to back then. So it's pretty it's pretty much very good, bro. And as you can see, I got the Commodore mark. And you can only get this mark right here only if you have the clan. It's not something you can spin. So whenever you see this on, on somebody's face or forehead, that means they're a Commodore. And for those who want sun breathing within this game, you have to understand that if you do get sun breathing, you will end up getting burned from using the sun breathing. You need Commodore for the sun breathing not to burn you. I don't know why they did it like that, but they did. But the game is getting a revamp. I've heard it. And actually, I've heard it for some... From, blah, 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 blah from some devs and I'm not gonna even say who the dev is bro I'm not gonna say who the dev is but for some from what I've heard from what I've heard is they made a lot they based from from what I heard is they could basically rename this whole game that's how that's how much they changed it from combat to map to weapons to the way that breathing works the, the UI everything is changed bro and also I do have a Kaizen game that I just started, but I'm talking about just bro. And then when I say this game is fire, bro, yo, bro, I don't even get hype. I don't get hype for games, bro. I don't be, I don't be glazing no game, bro. But listen, when a game is fire, bro. <coughs> damn, I'm gonna choke on my spit. Yo, when a game is fire, bro. I'm gonna say it's fire, bro. And this Kaizen game is called Jujutsu Chronicles, bro. And honestly, it's going to be the next big thing. Now listen, is it gonna compete with um, Jujutsu Infinite? Honestly, bro, if they execute it right, this game is 10 times better. It's 10 times better any day. Combat-wise, mwah. Well, combat-wise, mwah. And you know what's crazy? This is what I like about it. You can't get into the game thinking you're gonna have Gojo's ability and you're just gonna start smoking everybody or Sukuna's ability, then you're gonna be smoking everybody. Yo, bro. Literally, the clap technique, that technique, I've seen people use it in such a creative way in that game, and I'm just, like, baffled. Like, you ain't gonna come in there trying to get all the Robux and you spending it, and you think you about to start beating people left and right. Honestly, but obviously, I'm, I'm playing against testers, so they've they obviously been, you know, sweats. So, by the time I get into the open, you know, world with them, uh, when the game becomes public to the, you know, to y'all, it's gonna be it's gonna be a whole different story, but you know that's not what we're talking about right now. We're talking about just oh my god, bro, that game is just amazing, like amazing, bro, like Brody, Brody, Brody. 
I might I might talk about the sneak peeks, man. I might talk about the sneak peeks. We're gonna see what we could do. We're gonna see what we could do. I'm gonna talk about the sneaks. And um anything within the testing I can't talk about though. But all I'm gonna say is, bro, work of art. Work of art, man. They did they did a really good job. But and with this with this game though, I really like yo, bro, the devs. You know, I'm not gonna even say I hope y'all watch this video, because y'all probably not. Bro, if they can just revamp the game bro if they can release this update for this game within the two the next two months this game is gonna go crazy bro i'm not gonna be a i'm not gonna be like a youtuber within their um discord because i think the requirements is like 20k and i'm like i'm like nowhere near that i'm like a quarter away from that so yeah nah no time soon no time soon Honestly, if it was sooner, like say if all the guy who's watching now do sub, that can ob that could obviously help me out. That would be great. But hey, they rework everything from abilities, bro, to the map, to the fighting mechanics, to the character, like the way the character, like you see how he looks like so blocky and stuff. Like he just looks like a sharp block, and you know some other games smoothing the character, bro. They fixed all that, bro. And I saw a little picture too. I saw a little bit leak. I saw a little leak, so it's 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 out there, bro. It's real, it's real. It's something that they've been working on, and honestly, the reason why I think that the game is not updated now is because of Holy War X. So think about it, bro. Alpha Rex, Alpha Rex is the main, one of the main people that worked on this game, and he did most of the updates, and then he started creating his own game, which slowed down the progression of this game, which is where I think the owner messed up. He should have had other devs also working on the game besides that one person. But like if that one person go is gone a game for his game, especially if his game blows up, and I honestly think Holy War X is gonna average around 20k players if it's lucky, you know, 20 to 30k players if it's lucky. But yeah, bro. So like if that game is doing those numbers, I think Demon Fall with the revamp should be doing like 100, bro, 100k to like 80,000, bro, easy. And another game that can go crazy again is. Another game that could go crazy again too is um, Project Muget. No, it's a Project Muget. Project Slayers. Project Slayers. Project Slayers could also go crazy. You know what I'm saying? And from what I've heard, you know, from a little birdie, it's getting updating on the. It's getting updated on the last week of this month. So we gotta stay tuned and see what's going on with that. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to say too much. You know what I'm saying? But we for sure got content coming. We for sure got content coming. We're not sleeping on nothing. You know we're going to post. We're going to be on time and we're going to post a lot. We never miss, bro. That's what we're doing. And we're going to get to 10K subs and we're going to make it happen. All right? So make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe. And we're on the road to 6K subscribers. We're 300 away. Well, less than 300 away. We're on the road to 6K subscribers. And, that, bro, I just got to say, like, I really do appreciate y'all, man, for, like, sub subbing to me. It means a lot. And, bro, like, I'm... I know a lot of people will look at the number and not think that it's a lot, but to me, it's a lot. That's a lot of people, bro. And my server's almost at a thousand members, bro. A thousand of y'all chose to join my server because of me. So that that means a lot to me, bro. So you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't know how to feel about it. But yo, continue to watch, bro. We're gonna keep that positive energy. I ain't gonna cry for y'all. I ain't no bad nigga. So that's what we're not gonna do. Um leave a like, comment, subscribe, and like I like to say, bro. Brush your hair, take care, and I'll catch you in the next one. Eek's up.